Arapaima are naturally predatory, engulfing any fish that fit into that bony mouth, including piranha. They will even consume birds and other animals, sucking them down from the water surface. And then they've got this very gruesome technique for actually finishing their prey off. They have a, a tongue with a, with a piece of bone inside it, and they actually use that bony tongue to crush the small fish against the roof of the mouth. So it's not a very pleasant way to go, I'd imagine. These are pretty big fish. You know, that mouth isn't big enough to swallow a person. So any stories like that, you've really got to discount. But it could still actually kill you. That is a very solid lump of bone with an enormous mass of muscle behind it. I've actually been on the receiving end of one of these things. It hit me in the chest. And no exaggeration, I could still feel that a month and a half later. It just bruised me so deeply. It was seven years ago and I was helping a friend of mine, a research scientist, with his captive breeding program for Arapaima. His long-term goal is to take the pressure off the wild population, and he needed to capture his fish to pair them up with likely mates. Uh -huh. We caught several fish already and weighed and measured them without problem, when I let my guard down. While drawing in a net with an Arapaima trapped inside, this hard-nosed giant turned from fish into missile. From nowhere, I had a hundred pounds of solid bone smash into me. Weeks later, a doctor described my injury as similar to the impact of striking the steering column during a car crash. I'm not saying this is some malignant creature that will deliberately hunt and eat you. It doesn't have the mouth for it. But corner one of these beasts, and it will launch a preemptive strike. It is this event that makes me believe the Arapaima may be the killer in question. If these fishermen were hunting Arapaima or accidentally caught one in a net, this animal will violently defend itself. Just one thrash connecting with the head is all it would take to knock you unconscious, leaving you at the mercy of the Amazon's scavenging river monsters.